Hello and welcome to the 62nd episode of the Ravanian Campaign for Fourth Age Total War Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. I am Wombat, or Wombat as you please. We are in turn 64, I believe, and uh, we've got some things to do here. Um, so we're right at the beginning of the turn, and uh, right away we've got to uh, deal with a very impressive stack at this ford here. Uh, only got some cavalry potentially helping out from over there and over here. I really need what I'd really love to have is a whole lot of ranged units. And what I really don't have is a whole lot of ranged units, which is unfortunate. So that fort may be lost because they've got quite a few ranged units. And they don't give a damn. Mm. Yeah, unless they take a while to uh, take that fort, I don't see how I'm going to be able to do any damage on them. Okay. For the meanwhile, I do have reinforcements that can start making their way back to where they'll be useful. I don't know how many of them will be useful. I have to reinforce a lot of them. This is uh, ugly. I really do need to move the stack up here so it can start doing some good, but boy, it's going to be rough. Get anything accomplished here. Hey, uh, I'll wait till the end of my turn to move that stack. What I can do in the meantime is do a little scouting around. See what else might be around here. Ah, another stack here. That could actually be to my advantage. If I can attack this stack that's outside of the settlement while it's adjacent to Franzburg, I might be able to uh, destroy... I might be able to destroy Franzburg. That would be interesting. Okay, let's see here. Okay, you go in here, and then let's start doing something helpful. Let's see how many of these guys we can have join up here. Yeah, they do need more frontline units. No, that's too many. I have to put one of these guys back. Looks like I already did a lot of moving these guys around. Okay, these axemen. Hmm. I feel like I should be bringing them back to the Dornings area. I just want them to be garrisons over there because that's where they can be retrained. Oh, got a whole lot of cavalry up here. It's really not going to do me any good, is my prediction. Oh, for crap's sake. It really sucks that I don't have any range units to speak of in this whole area. I'm really gonna. I'm gonna have to take out these guys. Felgant is by far the more important uh, location to defend. So the thing to do there is going to be putting everybody into this fort. Since nobody's besieging this fort, I can use it to just attack them over and over again, and with their luck wear them down. What do they have in there? They've got. They've outranged me. So, I don't know, some cavalry charges might be able to take out them guys. We do have a lot of, of uh, noble units, so maybe that'll be sufficient to take out their range units. Oh uh, well, here we go. <laughs> I keep looking around hoping there'll be some extra units somewhere <laughs> that I can pull into this, but no, it's just what I've got here. 
let's, oh god. Oh, this sucks, these black spears. I can't even get anywhere near them without them murdering me. Okay, let's see what we can do. Many are the strange chances of the world, and help oft shall come from the hands of the weak when the wise falter. Gandalf the White. Gandalf is very fond of both the wise and the weak. The strong are the only ones he doesn't particularly care for. I guess maybe the strong and the stupid, but... Yeah. Okay, so how best to deal with this? We can hide a lot of our men, for whatever good that is. So what to do, what to do. Should we... Okay, let's just sort of have everybody back towards our line of retreat. Have these guys grouped up over here. Okay, let's see. Enemies over here. Go ahead and bring my cavalry up here. And get some eyes on them. I think the one godsend is that they don't have a lot of cavalry. Okay, check that. They've got a great big unit of cavalry. God damn it. Didn't notice that before. Okay, well. Probably fine to kill my cavalry about right there. So I'm going to see if I can sort of peck away at their farthest unit. <coughs> so my hope here is that I can get my range units close enough to start firing on some of their units, maybe take out 10 or 20 of their guys, retreat, rinse, and repeat. Extremely, extremely gamey, but it's the only way I'm going to survive, given the circumstances. I'm go ahead and get them a loose formation, just in case they get fired upon. Who's that? The longbowman? Okay, you go ahead and run it then. These guys can stop. Let's have these guys stop. Oh, Why are these guys hidden and these guys not? Oh, okay, can you guys get... Why are you not hidden? How are you not hidden? You should totally be hidden. This is frustrating. Okay, what's this one? Ah, oh, they're still attacking. God damn it. Motherfuck it. Run away. For fuck's sake! Oh my god, this is super... <sighs> Extremely aggravating. Okay, 
not doing terrific damage, but I am doing some damage. That's definitely what I want to happen. And they're just sitting there and taking it for the most part. Ah, fuck. Goddamn longbowmen have the range of God. Guys can run over here. Okay, well I have killed a greater percentage of them. So that's good. Fortunately they'll probably get back half or so of what they lose when I retreat. to kill their general, he won't come back. So that is something I can try to have done. I need to keep a sharp eye on these guys as soon as they start heading towards my own bowmen. I'm basically going to use up all of my ranged attacks on this general from my own generals. When I run out, I will charge him. See, they're bringing in their Hearthmen of Dale, thinking they can catch me up. Can you guys shoot at these guys, please? And get that general far away from his own men. I'm just actually going to order these guys to start charging him. See if uh, these long bomber are coming after my own men. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Keep concentrating on these hearth men since they don't have any shields. Possible. These the goddamn longbowmen have way too far of a range. I can't do shit with that. <sighs> Maybe if they didn't have cavalry, I could get my own cavalry in. Go ahead and charge them. You charge them. That was a really bad charge. Okay, what's happening here? No, these guys are getting really close. Okay, so you guys can start running away. How are you guys doing over here? Getting your asses kicked? Kind of expect you will be. It'd be nice if I didn't lose any of my own general. Oh, excellent, excellent, beautiful. Okay, then after that, I'll have to go ahead and destroy their own their other cavalry unit. Then maybe I'll be able to take out their own uh, archers. <sighs> then I can finally pack them down to nothing. Okay, so right now I'm just waiting for General, these forward. guys to get out of the way. Stop charging me at least. Okay, they're not going to start stop charging me, so. I am going to go ahead and start throwing spears at them. Okay, so what's happening with my own cavalry now? These guys are marching at them, but that's not really important. Don't trust my generals to be able to take out 
um, the horseman of Dale. So I'm going to have my own general start running around this side of the map. Okay. And I'll have you run. What the frick are you guys doing? You're way too close to the enemy here. Riders, yeah, I need you to like go over there. Can you do that? Something where you don't get your fucking asses killed. God damn it. Why does it have to be so hard? Okay, are you guys retreating back? No, you're not. Huh. Well, I'm just going to start shooting at you then. Oh, nice. Thank you for turning your backs on me. Okay, you guys. Kill them. Okay, this camera shows us line up here. I'll be fine. What's happening? I'm still chasing after, huh? here. I may actually get myself in a position to be able to destroy this unit of cavalry, which would be very nice. I would appreciate that. And some of it will come back next time I attack. So this is what's really uh, difficult about this whole tactic, you know. Every man I lose is gone for good, but every man that I kill has some chance, probably like a 30% chance or so, of coming back. Mm. Well, they've given up, so they're not going to come back. So, rather than trying to get them, I'm just going to wrap things up and come back with more ammunition. Sure that my archers don't get fired upon again. Try to figure out where their archers are. Okay. They've exposed themselves. Where are your archers? They're over here. They are exposed. <laughs> they really are exposed. I could try to charge at them. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like doing that this turn. Uh, but I'm going to anyway. Haha. Uh -huh. No, no, they're not exposing themselves anymore. Okay, so instead I'm gonna go ahead and charge at these guys. Let's see here, they're wavering. Weavering. They might just break. If they break, that'd be awesome. Yep, they broke. Alright, you guys, hit these ones. Yep, they're both routing. Just take them all out. I don't mind if I lose a few of these guys, it's okay. Okay. Now, at this point, I'm going to send my bowman over here. Okay, so I just eliminated all of those guys, which is really cool. I like that a lot. All right, now send my cavalry over here. Next time I'm going to run you this way first, just to get you away from those longbowmen. Probably already shooting at you. Amazing to me that my uh, women are not hidden in this environment. Looks like they might be trying to converge on my line. I don't want them 
to touch my line. If I touch my line, I'm dead. There's just no way I can hold out against them. If they're going to converge on my line, what does that mean for me? Well, it seems to definitely mean that they are trying to send their cavalry after my bowmen. So I'm going to send my bowmen back here behind my line. Let's see if that helps. Send my own cavalry over here across my line. Yeah, if they send their men out piecemeal, then I may have a decent chance of doing something productive here. And in particular, I could potentially throw a whole lot of javelins, or rather smart throwing spears, at these cavalry. These cavalry, I believe, are faster than me right now, on account of my men being exhausted, and there's not losing a lot of men right there. Oh, wow. I took out a very good portion of my bodyguard with that charge. Okay, you guys, try shooting at them. You're very close. Run. Nope. No engaging. Only running. God damn it. Run. Here we go. Massive, massive dose of throwing spears. Should do the trick. Very nice. Okay. So that's a group of horsemen eliminated. Get my cavalry out of the way. Okay, I'll get the rest of you fellows back against the wall. So at this point it looks to me like they're just trying to try to engage me with their infantry. They feel like they're strong enough to do that, and uh, I will advise that they are, in fact, strong enough to do that. Black Spears in particular will not allow me to get near their line, even with my cavalry. I'm trying to shoot these guys while they're milling about. So those Black Spears are very effectively defending um, the bowmen, their own bowmen. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I will be able to deal with that issue in the long term. I might just have to like let them run out of ammunition firing at some of my guys. Okay, you guys run away. Yeah, it doesn't help that my guys are exhausted and their guys are fresh. Okay, you guys. At this point, I'm fairly confident there is nothing more I can do to damage these people. I just have to get myself off the map. They might even be able to get some shots off at me, which is very unfortunate. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and send my cavalry around behind them. Maybe I can get a rear charge in at their bowmen. Now it looks like they're just forming up a line. That's fine. You guys can form up a line. I won't, I won't be mad about that. As long as you stay there. Nope, they're continuing. Okay, get your ass over here. Crappy shooting. Fucking shooting. Everybody leave. God damn it. Fucking hate those longbowmen. Oh, I wish I could charge them. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do. Okay, you guys, 
I'm gonna keep these guys on the map. So I can try to get this charge in. Oh, fuck, they're gonna fuck my guys up so bad. Urgh. Jesus! Just dead. Oh my god. I hate black spears. I hate them a lot. Boy, do I hate them. Holy crap. Black spears suck. Dude. Oh, slaughter all those longbowmen. Okay, you guys can get off the map. Oh man, you guys suck. Go kill those black spears. God damn it, man. Kill these black spears. Thank you. Damn, those black spears just can assassinate generals. Alright, you can leave. Oh, fuck. Run away, run away. Man, do I hate black spears. Watch this, they're gonna get all their fuckers back. Urgh! <laughs> Dale is so hard to fight! <sighs> well. Yeah. So, I was able to dismantle a lot of that force. It'd be so great if all those units didn't come back. But I know they all will, at least a little bit. <sighs> I lost more men than I can afford to lose. Definitely more than I can afford. They only lost about 150 men. So they got back over a third of the men that I killed. Yeah, they're still gonna be a lot stronger. Did I read that wrong? I think I did. They lost a hundred. Yeah, they only lost 150. Less than 150. <sighs> okay. Hate you guys a lot. Oh, my poor nobles. It is perilous to study too deeply the arts of the enemy, for good or ill. Elrond half elven. Whew. Oh man, did that suck. Crap all that. Yeah, and I really don't have them in in this settlement. I can't even do spear exchanges. So really the foresters are kinda useless when it gets back down to their black spears. All I can do with the black spears is peck a few away each turn uh, with my hunters and keep coming back. I mean, it'll work. In theory, it'll work eventually, but it's going to take a while. All right, let's go to it again. And they still have a better strength ratio. If we fail, we fall. Kend off the white. All right, everybody. Let's see what can be done now. I hate this damn slope. It means they have a range advantage against me when I'm trying to leave the map. Maybe over here would be a better spot to settle at. Oh, up on a hill. Okay. Oh my God. Are you, is it true? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. The archers didn't come back. The archers always come back. And they didn't this time. Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. No problem. Okay, I'm going to bring my archers over here. And my horsemen over here. 
they've even positioned themselves in a place where they can't really improve uh, their protection against ranged attack. They're just going to be on this hill. Can't move back indefinitely. Okay, and I'll go ahead and bring these guys up. Just in case I need to use a bunch of spears against a char uh, cavalry charge. I kind of feel like if they decide they'd rather quit the field, that they would lose their stack, because they don't have any way back to their territory on account of my forts being in the way. So I do believe uh, even if the strength ratio is such that they're just going to try to quit the field, I will still uh, ultimately win. Be interested to think to see how things develop once they eliminate that fort on the north side of the river. They'll probably then uh, besiege the fort on the south side of the river. If they keep trying to walk around the fort on the south side of the river, that'll make things very easy. I just keep doing this. Although if they have a whole lot of longbowmen. That may not work out so well for me. Okay, you bowmen. What are you going to attack? Okay, I'll have you fellows come up here. You don't need to be in loose formation. You can be in tight formation. And you guys don't need to be in loose formation. And you can sort of just come right here. Alright, and I just want to kill these black spears. Well, I'll concentrate on firing at the Hearthmen because they are easier to destroy, in theory, with ranged attacks. Okay. Okay, am I actually getting any missiles over that? I feel like this... Okay, let's stop. I think this uh, hill top here is getting in the way of my projectiles. So I'll have them concentrate on shooting at these hearthmen. I think just right there would be fine. Oh, come on, dude. <sighs> oh, let's kill the horsemen then. Where are you going? Stop it. Just being troublemakers. Okay, well, I got a good angle on these hearthmen now. We'll just use our fire ammunition here and then rinse and repeat. You can see there, these hearthmen's uh, armor is so good that they can uh, sometimes go for uh, several volleys without uh, me scoring a hit. Which I think is why they take that sort of relaxed stance. Okay, everybody go back. Mm -hmm. Let's see what kind of damage I did. Only 8%, but those Hearthmen are super tough. Yeah, that uh, battle I lost where I was trying to um, outmaneuver and, and outplay the Dale army uh, in that, uh, that episode I lost, I took some charges with all of my uh, nobles at the, the backs of a small, like a reduced unit of Hearthmen, and they still murdered my nobles. Those Hearthmen are ridiculously strong. And we can see how few of them I actually killed uh, with uh, concentrated arrow fire, even when they have no shields, just because their armor is super tough. Let's see, if I pause, I can pull up their stats, I think. Can I? No, I'm probably too far away from them now. Yeah, let's not worry about it. Okay, everybody, get off the map. Yeah, only 27. Well over 100 archers. It's like 120 archers. They only killed uh, 27 men. Okay. No, I'm not going to speak the elven part. Out of this great sea to Middle Earth I am come. In this place will I abide, and my heirs unto the end of the world. Oh, that wasn't Elven at all. That was a uh, Nermenorian or Dunedaish, Danish, or something like that. 
Dunedain speech. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and kill these guys again. The darkness has begun. There will be no dawn. Gandalf the White. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that if uh, they ha had this fort besieged, I would not be able to assault multiple times like this. I would only be able to assault once per turn. But I would have the advantage of that the assault would take place on the fort's tile, so I would have some defensible, highly defensible ground to fight from. And still, their units are so powerful that I probably wouldn't be able to get much accomplished. Okay, you guys can be roughly how you are. You guys need to paint card. Okay. And how do we want to approach this? So you're like so. Okay. Bring up these guys here. And these guys over here. And these guys right here would be good. Keep moving over, back over the crest of the hill, which makes things harder for me. Looks like I should be able to shoot at these ones. Okay, you guys, no, not you. Have to wait until they figure out what they're going to do. Oh, I'd really love to hit these, these horsemen here. Oh, they're, what are they doing? Are they trying to charge me? No, they're just repositioning. Okay, well, if you're not going to let me hit the horsemen, I'll hit these hearthmen. Oh, charging at me. That's curious. And um, let's have everybody run away. Okay, everybody, they're going to be like that. We're going to throw a shitload of spears at them. Okay, everybody, stop. Line up. You stop and finish them off. Okay, they thought that would be a clever idea, but it turns out it was a very unclever idea for them. All right, I'll go ahead and see if I can get some more shots off at these hearthmen. Spears are getting volleys off at me. God damn it. I hate fucking black spears. I really, 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 really hate black spears. Black spears are crazy powerful. It is one thing to see what needs doing, and quite another to find the means. Gandalf the White. Using 
a rather losing bodyguard. Yeah. Then, uh, that's decent. Especially in up covers. Very little use for them. Kill. <laughs> Still a one to one ratio. Did I get rid of their cavalry? I did. Excellent. Okay. Now it's just going to be grinding them down with arrows. I do not love the bright sword for its sharpness, nor the arrow for its swiftness, nor the warrior for his glory. I love only that which they defend. Faramir, steward of Gondor, Prince Vithilion. Don't listen to him, you don't have to await any orders. Indeed, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, man, it takes so many arrows to bring one of these guys up. You can see, even for that rather small body of Hearthman, took a huge amount of my ammunition to take them down. Okay. I think I'll just let them run back and forth like this, I'm probably getting more kills out of it than I would otherwise. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Four to four of them that time, that's better than last time, and I didn't lose any men, which is even more important. It is perilous to study to oh, I already got that one. How run think us more should say. Okay, their stack is finally starting to look decently smaller. <laughs> Still very, very close to a 1 to 1 ratio on that. That's just how strong black spears are. Okay. You can see why uh, North Rune didn't fare too well against them. Off the onion. Hidden guest crew is the best company. I should probably try to see if I can get a peace treaty with uh, Rune this turn. It's kind of annoying that they keep trying to chase me off the map and so I'm just obediently dying.
I do appreciate that they're doing my work for me by moving their men back and forth. Of course, that's the value of uh, units that can hide themselves. Really messes with the AI. Okay, so they're trying to escape. I have a feeling that they're trying to escape means I can just ignore them and they will basically disappear off the map. Um, but I can't be sure of that, so I'm going to still run up behind them and try to uh, kill them as much as I can. Not bad. And because they quit the field, they will at least lose all of those men, not gain many of them back. Alas, we all make mistakes. Berylos, son of Baragond. Borlas. Borlas, son of Baragond. I don't even remember who that was. Was that the little kid that hanging out with Pippin? In uh, Minas Tirith during the siege? It might have been. Ah, no, he got to go back. It's not fair. Maybe because this one was... Uh, Besieged. Well, at least he's out of my hair. Probably won't be able to retrain Black Spears and Carve. Those are pretty advanced units. Uh, what to do now? Oh, maybe something can be done here profitably. No. Shit, a lot of frickin' longbowmen. Huh. Okay, well, we can still do something. We can definitely still do something. We'll save here. Okay, we're going to save here, and when we come back, I'm going to explore the idea of. Uh, doing a sally against these forces. These are the guys besieging, so they'll be in place. Won't be able to do much against them. They've all got ridiculous ranges. Ridiculous. Like, dude. Yeah. Um, but these fellows will be coming in from the side so I don't know, maybe I can do something against them? We'll just have to see. If I can't do anything, then can't do anything. But gotta try, right? This will conclude episode 62 of the Yerevanian campaign. The Fourth Age Total War, Dominion of Men, a modification of Rome, Total War, Barbarian Invasion, comprising turn 64.3 through 64.5. I have been Wombat or Wambat, as you please. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment. I'm always happy to read and reply to comments and come back next week for the next episode.